Uh, the Antius Playwrights Lab is a, a unique part of, uh, of the Antius Theater Company. You know, we um, began as a classical theater company, and so our canon of plays was often um, Shakespeare and uh, Chekhov and um, Ibsen. Um, we have for a, a, a long time been looking to expand that and to say, what makes a classic? It's a question we're always asking ourselves and pushing those boundaries out. So within that, um, we've had for a number of years, a playwrights lab where on Tuesday nights, different writers bring in 20 pages of material, new, new pages or pages they've worked on previously. Uh, and actors within our company read those and, um, and then a discussion ensues about uh, where the play is moving next. Um, from that, uh, we started doing a, uh, a reading series called Lab Results, where we heard um, six full-length plays in a public, uh, public readings for six plays that came out of the Playwrights Lab. And from those, uh, in 2019, we produced uh, two original works um, that, um, you know, were, were, were developed within the Playwrights Lab entirely, and we presented those on the main stage. Um, when we were looking for uh, zip code plays, of course, we immediately turned to the writers in the lab um, because they're, they're so good, they're so varied, um, and um, the writers pitched things to us and we chose uh, now um, 18 of these. So uh, the Playwrights Lab has become a more and more a, a super important part of Antius and the Antius community. It's great for the actors, it's great for the writers there. Um, and while we, of course, want to continue with the classics and doing um, doing those uh, plays from the from the canon, we also want to expand that and uh, looking for new classics for plays. And by that, generally, I mean um, we look at, at plays with timely and timeless themes. There has to be a kind of um, depth and breadth to these plays for them to sort of fit into the Antius brand. Um, but within the playwrights lab, people also write, uh, you know, kitchen sink dramas and things that might not uh, might not be on brand for us, but are terrific plays that are well deserving of production. And it's our hope to help people at other theaters find those, so that our writers' uh, work is is spread out across the city and across the country. Um, uh, and then and then some of them fit um, more specifically in Antias' uh, kind of definition of timely and timeless. But the playwrights lab is a is a really vital. And of course, during the pandemic, it's continued to meet uh, virtually. And um, we have found that, you know, you can uh, develop new plays, uh, you know, on Zoom and uh, in, in readings uh, virtually uh, in a pretty handy way. So it's continued and throughout this shutdown and has become a part of the uh, fabric of Antius. I think it's, um, it's important to everyone at Antius that uh, everything that we do is looked at through um, a lens of equity, diversity, and inclusion. Uh, the Playwrights Lab uh, represents that and uh, represents that in that we want talented writers who are talking about um, every different topic and every different experience and every different background. We want to know those stories. Um, I look at um, our, um, and in Tease's end, uh, with the zip code plays particularly, I look at our job as to provide a lovely box uh, uh, a lovely candy box, and they, each playwright puts in uh, a different bonbon or a chocolate or a lemon bar or whatever they want, to, whatever they want. Um, and our job, I feel, is to strengthen and amplify those voices and then provide a nice lid with a bow for them. Uh, and that's what we provide, and they provide a delicious bite uh, in each case. And uh, that's how I look at it. In some ways, it's hard to say why theater is so important to the to the structure of a community when there are uh, obviously medical issues and that people have there are severe problems in the world, you know, right now and maybe always. But I don't think we can put art aside and just say it's not worth uh, anything. I think that uh, artists change the culture. They they change the topic of conversation. They move the they move the meter on uh, uh, where uh, people are in the world. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, everyone has their own opinion about what art can do and the power of art uh, to uh, make social change, to um, uh, speak out about important topics. Uh, 
my personal uh, experience has shown me or what interests me, I guess, is telling true stories, uh, uh, shining a light on voices that we have not heard, uh, looking at um, issues from all sides and allowing audiences to, to take what they will. Um, I don't, I don't, um, uh, I'm not, not as big a fan of, of preaching to the audience as I am uh, to um, uh, presenting stories about people's humanity, different characters' humanity, whether those things are, um, you know, not are good, bad, or indifferent. Um, to, to to talk about the complexities of the human human character of humanity um, and letting people draw their own conclusions from that. I know that art has um, has affected my life in in every way. I think that is true for a lot of young people coming up. I think it's true for older people who are asking questions about what's life mean. And probably anybody who's asking questions about what does life mean. Uh, art is there to, to shine a light on that and to, to, to delve into those, those difficult questions. And I wouldn't want to live in a society where that was not important. Uh, so we, uh, while, while there are all kinds of causes out there that need, need help, I think supporting art is a very noble and uh, uh, exciting and challenging way to spend one's time. Well, there are always ways for people to get involved with NTS, um, uh, whether they are subscribers, donors, audience members. Um, we are always looking to invite you to get involved. Um, it's a, I think NTS um, is a real community. Uh, I think it's a place where people come together and. Uh, feel like it's their artistic home. Uh, we're small enough that there's an intimacy, but large enough that there's some structure to what we're doing um, and, and, a, and a, a big enough tent that everyone is welcome. Uh, so I would encourage people to get involved by um, uh, listening to the zip code plays, by checking out the website, antias.org. Um, come and see what we're doing. Um, when we're back in person, for sure, come and see what we're doing. Um, uh, there's always a place to, to be a part of, uh, part of this. And I, I hope that we are able to create a bigger and bigger and more embracing home for everybody, uh, whether they are uh, in the audience, whether they are working behind the scenes, whether they're uh, uh, working front of house, whatever they're doing. Um, this is a place where like-minded people come together and, uh, and you know, somebody said we, that a theater should be like a, a town square where we all kind of come together and talk about things and hash out ideas and share thoughts. And uh, uh, I like that idea. Hi, I'm Bill Brocktrip. I'm the artistic director of uh, NTS Theater Company. Um, and we invite you to uh, check out our website and everything going on at nts.org and, um, and become a part of uh, what we're doing. Uh, thank you so much.